Buying a new construction home is different than buying a resale home. What does that process look like? What do I need to know? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Eric Stanio from Keller Williams Realty and TeamStanio.com where we are helping you find your home and strengthen your family. I'm a realtor here in the Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky area. So if you're looking at buying a new construction home here in the greater Cincinnati area, whether that's in Ohio or in Kentucky, I wanna help you out and wanna walk you through one of the home buying processes of the largest home builder here in the Cincinnati area, which is Fisher Homes, and give you kind of a little bit of an idea of what that process is like, uh, what you should look out for, some questions to ask along the way. So let's get into it. All right, the first thing I wanted to do before uh, giving you a few tips is just look at some of the largest Cincinnati home builders. We're gonna walk through Fisher Homes today, but I wanted to show you, uh, there's a lot of great home builders in the Cincinnati area. Fisher happens to be the largest one. This is as of 2017 but they have sold the, the most housing starts in seven, 758. Next is MI Homes. You see a lot of them up in the Mason Westchester area. Uh, and Dries Company is number three. Oftentimes in the neighborhoods, you might see Fisher and Dries in there together. And they both have their advantages, their pros and cons. You can talk about each. We're not gonna do that in this video. I just wanted to give you a little bit of heads up and, and understanding who are some of the top home builders here in the Cincinnati area. All right, so I'm over on the Fisher Homes website and this site is great for walking through different different styles, different neighborhoods, different price points. They've got everything on here you could you could kind of want in terms of getting some information figured out, but I want to just walk you through the home buying process. Now, what it says on step number 1 here is to get pre-qualified. This is really the same if you're buying a resale home or if you're buying a new construction home. What they don't say on here that is really, 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 really important is that the, de the demand for new construction homes in Cincinnati right now is so great that most home builders will not accept financing that is contingent on the sale of another home. So generally, and I just did this with a, a couple of clients, when you get a home under contract for new construction, you've got 30 days to lock in your loan application. That could be with their preferred uh, lender, which in this case is Victory Mortgage, or it could be with your own lender. But you have basically 30 days to make sure that you have a pre-approval letter that says it is not contingent on the sale of your other home. So if you're selling a house first, before you go and buy a new construction home, you wanna be sure that that home is gonna be sold and closed basically within that 30 day period of when you need your loan application. Make sure you talk to the sales rep of whatever builder you're working with, whether that's Fisher Homes or anyone else and double check on that, that financing op, uh, re requirement of if are they accepting pre-approval letters that are contingent or does it need to be non-contingent? Make sure you have that locked down with your agent first before you go talk to a sales rep at a builder. So here they say step one, get pre-qualified. Let's, uh, and they've got a calculator on here. Let's move over to step two of the buying process, which is to choose your no, new home. And this is really fun. Uh, this is where you get to pick out the neighborhood. You get to kind of go to the model home and figure it out. You get to look at the different pricing options. Um, a couple of things I wanna say here. Um, Fisher Home says, hey, you're gonna come in, you're gonna talk to our sales counselor. And here you're gonna, you're gonna determine your your home features, the community, the home site, your budget. Um, your sales counselor will then review different plans with you. So here's what I wanna say on this. Um, the sales counselors that Fisher Homes or any new construction home builder is gonna have on site work for the home builder. And they're great. They're gonna be able to tell you everything you need to know about that builder and they're gonna help you buy your house and they're gonna kind of walk you through that process. Um, but what I would say is before you walk into that model home, make sure you're working with a buyer's agent, someone like me at Team Sanyo or somebody else, um, because you want to have the agent on your side. Now, guess what? Good news for you, that buyer's agent is completely free, okay? It doesn't cost you a thing, but it gives you someone who has an agency responsibility to you, who's working for, looking out for your best interest on your side. And, and guess who pays for it? The builder pays for it, okay? The builder pays for the commission for the buyer's agent to work for you. It's already built into their pro forma. Companies like Fisher, uh, MI Homes, they have this built in. They they want to, they want buyer's agents to bring them people, um, but, just make sure you do this ahead of time because oftentimes what will happen if you go to that model home and you don't have an agent on your side, it's they're like, uh-uh, and we've locked you in and now we're not gonna pay out that commission. And so then you don't have anyone on your side when it comes to 
just all the things that happen during the buying process. Um, not only reviewing the contract, but looking at inspection periods, seeing if there's, there's any incentives that you can look at, um, being just an intermedi intermediary between you and the builder throughout the entire process, because let's face it, it is a longer process, right? Besides, it's not gonna take you one month to go buy a house and close. It's gonna take you six to eight months to not only purchase the home, but then build out the home. So you want a buyer's agent on your side, uh, shameless plug over. Okay, so you're gonna go in and I would recommend going in with your agent to the model home so that you can pick all those things. In fact, your agent can actually help you pick out that the neighborhood and look at different builders ahead of time so that you can do save some time. So that's what I'd recommend. Step three of the buying process is you're gonna sign a purchase agreement. So once you've figured out the neighborhood, once you've picked out the lot, once you've picked out the home design, you're gonna actually sign a purchase agreement. It's gonna be a contract that says, yep, I'm gonna buy this house with these choices um, for this amount of money. Now, the way Fisher Homes does it is you choose a lot of the different layouts of the home ahead of time. And you, when you're with that sales counselor, either on the phone or in person, they'll be like, hey, do you want this to be a morning room or do you want it to be like a optional fifth bedroom? Or do you want a finished basement or not finished basement? And you kind of, do you want a fireplace or do you not want a fireplace? Like you make all those like big builder decisions up front before you sign this purchase agreement. And then at a later time with Fisher, what you do is go through their design process. But this is what you do. You actually sign a contract and um, also there's gonna be a deposit you need to put down. So this informs you of your deposit dates. Step number four is you're gonna work with your loan officer. Again, whether that's with the preferred lender of the builder, and you might wanna consider that because sometimes you get incentives by working with their builder because they work with them over and over again, or you might wanna choose your own. It's up to you. You can shop around different rates. Again, your buyer's agent should help you figure this out. Uh, but your loan officer, once you sign the purchase agreement, then you're gonna go fully apply for the loan uh, and get that application in place. They're gonna do uh, research on all of your finances, make sure they can fully approve you for the loan, not just that pre-approval letter. Um, then you have that in place with the builder. Step five, uh, <laughs> we've skipped a lot of steps, but now you close on your home, it's that easy. Um, but all your deposits are gonna be going towards the final down payment of your house due at closing. You will receive keys to your new home. So this is a simplified version of the buying process. It gives you kind of a general idea of the overview. Um, the other things they have here on the site, which I recommend you checking out, is um, what does the building process look like and what does the design process look like. In fact, I'm gonna click into this really quick just so you can kind of see the design overview. The way Fisher Homes does it, it's pretty cool. They, You can go to one of their lifestyle design centers and they basically have every option you can choose from. Every type of flooring, every type of paint, every type of lighting fixtures, every type of granite countertops, every type of backsplashes. It's all in this one, um, this place where you choose all the, de all the design finishes at once. So with Fisher, the way it works is you kind of sign that original contract and then once you go make your design choices, it's possible that some of the choices, and it's actually probable that some of the choices you make might up that, uh, that contract price that you signed for. So you get to decide all that, but just realize that like when you're in the model home, everything is fancy and like top of the line. And the things you might be, you're choosing in that initial contract are kind of like the baseline. And then you go to the design center and you'd be like, well, I really want that style, that style of a sink or, I really want this laundry finish or whatever it is. And so just know they're not really upselling you, but they kind of are. It's just, it's the way they do it. Most of the builders do something similar where it's like you choose the, the base contract and then you choose your design finishes that might add a little bit, not like a huge amount. And, and that's totally up to you as the buyer, but it might add a little bit to the final price. So just know that going ahead, going into it so that you're not like, because when you see those signs and you're driving down the road, it's like starting from the 200s or starting from the 300s or 400s or 500s. You're like, oh, I could get a brand new. But realize like that number that they're saying starting at is like, it's starting there, right? It's not finishing there. So just know that ahead of time and that'll help you out. All right, guys, that's a little bit of the, the overview of the buying process for Fisher Homes. If you're looking at new construction in the Cincinnati or Northern Kentucky area, um, hopefully that was helpful for you. If it was, 
give us a like. Um, make sure you watch these other videos that we've done on new construction homes in the area so you can get a feel for some of the neighborhoods. And if you're shopping or moving to Cincinnati or looking to buy new construction in Cincinnati, give us a call at Team Stanio. We'd love to help you out. Our mission is all about helping families find your home, strengthen your family, because we believe that home is where families grow stronger together. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let's go Reds. Hootay.